Who would you like to challenge? I would love to challenge Carvina Jones. Yes, yes. Let's go. Let's go. Carvina, you will perform first. Then it will be up to Majesty to see if she can top your performance. It's Carvina. My name is Carvina Jones. I'm 23 years old. I'm from Jackson, Mississippi, and I'm a soul and R&B artist. I grew up in a very strict, conservative, apostolic church. I dreamt of being a singer, but it wasn't always easy to follow my dreams. We weren't allowed to listen to secular music, but I would sneak and listen to Hannah Montana, the Jonas Brothers, Justin Bieber. The music represented how I felt inside. my first song at 14. Writing my music became such a big outlet for me because I was finally able to just express myself. I put my first video online and it literally went crazy. Diddy started following me and I'm like, are you kidding me? Damn. A lot of people don't make it from where I come from. So being a part of the four is a huge deal. And I'm just so excited to just live what I've always dreamed of doing. I'm just ready to shock the world. The way you make me feel. I don't plan on giving my seat up to nobody, like, ever. And that's the plan. Secure the bed. Eh. chance to prove to everyone that you deserve a seat on the floor. Party girls don't get hurt, can feel anything. When will I learn? I push it down, I push it down.
Carvina, come join us on the stage with majesty. Carvina likes Casper things. We're going to keep it. But she, she's great. She's good. She had more energy. In just a minute, our audience will vote on which of you won this challenge and takes the seat. First, let's see what the panel thinks. Khaled. I made an executive decision. And sometimes you have to make executive decisions. Talk to him. And the executive decision is, I'm going to let Diddy make it. Aww. <laughs> hey, yo, Khaled. Because now, because I know, I know, because now, because let me tell you what why. What did you feel? No, but let me tell you why, because Diddy seen something in Carvina. So even if you have a slightly off note, I'm not going to forget what you did to get that seat. But, Majesty, I want to say one thing. You was incredible. Thank y'all. And what I really liked about it, too, is, you know, you wasn't really trying to do backflips and all that stuff. You was just being you. And that's important, you know what I'm saying? But that's why I want to make this executive decision, and I'm going to let Diddy make it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Megan! They're both amazing, and we all know this. They're both great artists. This is a real challenge. But also, I don't want you to all forget what Carvina just did on that stage. I felt you secure in the bag. I felt it. Majesty, you did an amazing job. That's a tough song. If I were to choose someone right now, I would pick Carvina. It's a sound clash. You have to think executive. You're executives right now of a huge label. That's when you got to put yourself in those shoes. Did he tell them? <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't love either performance. I think both of y'all picked the wrong record. I felt like I was in a Broadway play at times. And I don't want us to start getting up here and to, to yelling matches. It ain't about yelling. It ain't about screaming. It's about being an artist, being confident, performing, and picking the right record. But Majesty, I think you have an incredible voice. All right, we've heard what the panel thinks, but our audience will decide who claims a seat on the floor and who goes home. Audience, please vote now. Is it going to be Carvina, member of the four? Or Majesty, our challenger. The people like where I can tell. And the winner of this challenge is. <laughs> Majesty! Cause baby. Please go take your seat on the floor. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Your seat is now locked for the night. You are safe and cannot be challenged for the rest of the show. Carvina. Yes.